Hey everyone, my name's John, and this is Games in 60 Minutes. This is the stream where I play random games out of my Steam backlog, and I try them out for 60 minutes. Uh, so every one of these games are games I've never played before. And uh, so for tonight's episode, uh, we are going to check out Cloudpunk. Um, actually, I did not pick this game at random, I confess. This has been a game that's been in my wish list for a while, and... Um, so I ended up, uh, with the Steam sale going on, ended up deciding to pick it up. So I've been uh, definitely, definitely interested in uh, checking this one out. So I'm excited. Um, so I don't actually know. I, I don't have a lot to say about this. Um, I know that it, it from the look of it, it's very cool. It's kind of got this like sort of Blade Runner-esque uh, style to it um and i think it's kind of a narrative story and beyond that i don't really know too much i kind of uh sometimes uh, i kind of stay a little ignorant on purpose just so i can you know kind of be surprised by these games right when i go in so uh but yeah with that with that said uh why don't we uh why don't we hop into the game and let's uh let's give this a look So we're going to start a new game. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this looks like pretty, pretty, uh, pretty basic controls easy enough to get into I'm, I'm already I'm already into this like just I just want to fly around Control, for a while come in. this is wait is this channel receiving me uh, driver of 14 FC this is control we read you is that you Carmine no my name is Rania oh you're the new kid I'm the new driver yeah who is Carmine he was driver 14 FB what happened to him he retired last month. Good for him. <laughs> Retiree. He was in the big Sector 6 crash last week. Lots of people got retired. Don't worry, you won't be flying through that section for hours yet. Where do I go now? Well, how are you handling your hava? Okay, I guess. I read your references. You're a good driver. But I love this tunnel. Navigating a hava around the Vallas. This isn't like driving your flat country roads back home. Now, this city goes down a hundred miles and up a thousand. Remember, you're not driving an old internal oh. combustion engine. You'll need to engage your vertical repulsors or find one of the car lifts. Fly to headquarters. I'll give you more instructions when you arrive. Thanks, Control. Uh, one more thing, 14FC. Welcome to Cloudpunk. Oh no, that's neat. I got a discovery for um, finding a particular road, so that's pretty cool. It looks like you can, uh, you know, get little uh, get little rewards for getting to different parts of the map. Neat. Okay, and it looks like I happen to actually be on the right road to go where I'm going, so that works out. This, this game is making it really hard, like, you know, I, I don't, <laughs> I just want to fly around and explore, like, I don't want to do the narrative. Oh, check out that sky. It's like, I want to fly around, I want to see how high I can go. I think I've, uh, yeah, I think I figured out my ceiling, so it doesn't, doesn't look like I can go any higher than this. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just, I'm really digging this art style. I love how, the, the thing that's so cool about this is they really pulled off this look and it's not even like, I don't know, I, I it's like, it's not pixel graphics per se, but it's got this like kind of, you know, sort of clean, pixely look to it, right? Like, it, like it's sort of, I, I don't know, I don't quite know how to describe this because it's clearly, you know, there's actually quite a bit going on here, but at the same time, it, it kind of has this like almost retro look to it. And I'm actually really kind of amazed how they kind of pulled that off. I just want to, all I want to do right now is drive around, <laughs> but I think for the sake of the stream, you know, we'll get, we'll get going so that we can, uh, get a, find out a little bit of what the narrative is about. I love this. There's like advertisements everywhere. Resort VR can take you there. Unibozu Resort. Better than real. Better than real, guy. <laughs> oh, I think I lost, uh... Uh-oh, hang on. I think I was... I was... I was, uh... I got to rubbernecking so much I wasn't paying attention to what I was supposed to be doing. Um... But yeah, no, I want to at least check out a little of the narrative. I mean, I think, I th I'm, I'm sure I'll get plenty of chances to uh, explore as I go, right? So I think it'll be okay. The other thing that's messing me up is uh, I need to see if I get, hold on, I'm going to check something. Yes, invert axis. There we go. I, uh... That was messing me up a little bit. So kudos, kudos again for letting you kind of tweak the controls a little bit. I definitely, uh, I definitely appreciate that. And again, twice now, twice, I have flown past the place because I'm over here yapping. All right. The thing that's, the thing that's messing with me a little bit is the dual stick controls. It's like, it's got, it's, you use one, stick to go left right and the other stick to go uh like i i just i kind of want to do this all in one stick so it's messing with me just taking a little bit of getting used to um oh let's not hit the tree i think i'm supposed to go in here Oi. Okay, maybe not. Uh... Oh, park P. I bet I park right here. Okay, hang on. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I gotta get used to the controls here a little bit. Okay. Nice, so you can actually run around on your own too. Switch to third person view. Oh wow. Oh check this out. You're all like you're all like pixely. Zoom in to enter first person view. Oh wow. Kinda digging that sky. See, and now I wish that the axis wasn't inverted. Uh. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. I think... I think I might be able to do it from here. So, what I want to do is... I've, see how it's steer left, steer right with the left stick? I want to do a send and descend also... Oh, whoops. Hang on, I got that wrong. Okay, there. Yeah, see, now now I've got all the controls with the left stick. That's kind of what, that's kind of what I wanted to be able to do. Okay. Okay. 
so maybe this is where I go into the glowy part? Is that it? No? Aha! Alright. 14 FC. This oh. is going to the marrow. Where's that? Pretty low in the city superstructure. I'll give you a waypoint on your navcom to help you find it. Be careful down there. It's busy, and it's a maze. Not exactly the rich part of town. The kind of place where you wipe your feet on the way out. Okay. Carminus was a great driver. You got big boots to fill. He flew delivery for over 10 years, you know? How about the driver before him? 14 F.A.? Lasted one night. Most drivers only last one night. They quit the job? One way or another, yeah. You seem like a nice kid, 14 FC. I hope you make it. Don't get lost down there in the marrow. I'll try. What's in the package? Two rules, kid. Don't miss a delivery, and don't ask what's in the package. Everything else is just <laughs> guidelines. Don't ask what's in the package. Especially if it's a baby Yoda. <laughs> All right, so got my package, heading that way. Doing a little better now, just a bit with the controls. Although, you know, you know what I'm missing though is I wish I wish I had a free cam. Like I wanna, I wanna like be able to spin the camera around while I'm uh, while I'm driving. I'm just being fussy though with the controls. It's actually, uh, it's actually not really, uh, not really that big a deal. But uh, I'm just kind of used to, you know, you play you play most games on the controller, and you kind of have a, you're kind of used to the controls kind of working a particular way. See you there. I just remembered I didn't talk to you about the ascenders. The ascenders. I think I know how they work, Control. You do. They go up. And also down, right? Yeah, that's about it. You know why? No. It's about vert ceilings. Not those again. Say again, 14 FC. Sorry, just making a kind of joke. Go ahead, Control. Papas are tuned to a vertical field frequency based on the layer of the city they're in. That field locks you to a maximum and minimum altitude. That's why you need the ascenders. They huh. take you up or down a layer, and as they carry you, they reset your Hava's field frequency. They reset the vertical ceiling and floor. But Hava's fly just fine outside Novalis without vert fields. That's true. Oh. I hope I didn't end that conversation early by zoning. fly fine in areas without the fields. Even in old room parts of the city that are off the grid, but the grid holds everything together in the city. Tracks you, gives you access to the nets, the comm, the mapping systems, the reserve power if your engine stalls. And it stops us just flying straight up to the spire too, right? <laughs> That's right, kid. The CEOs don't want you flying up and looking in their windows. They prefer their <laughs> privacy. I guess we don't get many jobs up there anyway. I love I love how I'm getting an in-game explanation for the thing I already tried. I'm like five seconds in the game, I'm like, how high can I fly? <laughs> so do I go in? Alright, looks like I'm close. I'm trying to figure out. And am I supposed to go in through the little tunnel here, maybe? No. Alright, definitely not. Alright, so I got I'm looking. I'm looking for a parking spot. Just like, uh, just like going to the mall. <laughs> I wonder, like, can I just randomly park? I want to hang on. I'm, now I'm kind of curious. Can I just park where I want? No. Oh, okay. Got it. There's the P. I missed the, I missed the icon, right? So there's a P. There's a P icon. Okay. Here we go.
what you looking for. Whatever it is, I got it. <laughs> nice. I don't actually know if I have money. I actually like seriously, I don't I don't even know where I would look. Uh let's see. So this is my map. Okay. All right, you know what? Thanks. I'll I'm just gonna hold off on a. Uh, hey, come back anytime, lady. <laughs> I'm gonna hold off for now on uh buying stuff till I have some idea on if I actually have some money or not. Man, this is like I'm telling you, this is really cool. Like. I'm sort of scratching the itch that I can't play Cyberpunk right now. <laughs> okay, so Ed, Ed Irwin Carver, here we go. Oh, thank God. This will change everything. Where do I sign? Right here, Mr. Carva. But please, call me Irwin. It's from my parents. They died, you know. Cora only knows what caused the crash. I'm sure they saved their whole life to give this to me. I thought it would be in cash, limbs, but my neighbor said they'd probably leave me pressed gold. <laughs> that way, gold press latinum. <laughs> city tax on the transfers. Can I take that now? Sure. Here you go. Who is Cora? It's just an expression. Y you want to see what's inside? Uh oh. I can maybe give you a tip if it's limbs. Not every day you see someone become rich. I have a feeling this guy's about right. to be real disappointed. Just think. I can finally get the eye surgery I need. Two augments. No expense spared. I can hardly read the holocrons these days. It's all just a blur. Let's see. Just rip here and... Oh. What is it? Gold? It's... Old toys. My ship models. The R7 ICBM. And Sputnik. Aww. The NASA shuttles. The UN Interplanetary 101? Why did they send these? It must be some kind of code. There's a note, right? Yeah, let's see. Dear Irwin, we know these toys were important to you at one time. We need to sell the apartment, but your father has a scheme. It seems risky, but if all goes well, this will arrive just before we land at the colonies. We're going to the stars, just like we always dreamed. I know it's hard out there, but if we keep our heads down, we can start sending you money for the operations. More than enough money. Just hold on, honey. Everything's going to be okay. Sorry. I should go. <laughs> yeah. I should go. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Yeah, I, I get I get the feeling this is not a game with a lot of happy stories in it. Alright, I'm getting a call. Good job, kid. I looked into your profile. It says you came from the Eastern Peninsula. Heard it's nice there. What made you want to come slumming with us in Novalis? It's the biggest city in the world. I wanted to make an impression. It's not easy to break out in Novalis, kid. Making it here is like trying to paint on the surface of a river. The current of people and ideas and the crowds, they, they wash everything away. I'll make it. Sure you will, kid. Just try making it through tonight first. We need you to head up to the mercantile district. You're moving up in the world. What's the job? Same as always, take a package from A to B without too many questions. A is a warehouse, B is a penthouse. Transmitting nav points now. And remember, don't let them look down on you, kid. The merchants are as far from the clouds as they are from the gutter. Okay, Control. On my way. All right, so head into a warehouse. Get to do a little bit of a... Uh little scenery uh load which... hova ai load assistant load computer helper do you want to activate the generic <laughs> automata yes that's the one 
Automata now available in generic limited mode. How can I help you today, sir? Not sir. My name is Rania. <laughs> How can I help you today, Mr. Rania? I'm not a mister. <laughs> Update my profile, please. Profile changes are locked in the trial generic automata. Well, wow, that's like obnoxious. To, to my limited offer, monthly subscription, premium mode. <laughs> now, just how much to replace you with an existing AI? Do you have a hard copy of the AI on storage media? I do. Then the transfer cost to unlock the automata is 1,500 limbs, sir. How would you like to pay? Direct transfer. Please insert storage media. Transfer in process. Automata personality canvas will be active. <laughs> All right. Hopefully the AI I'm transferring is a little... Uh... In approximately 20 <laughs> minutes. Would you like to deactivate the generic automata personality now? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> yes. Deactivating. Please enjoy your new automata. Good day, Mr. Rania. <laughs> I love that. Sorry, you gotta pay more to properly recognize your gender. I do love the fact that it pretty much, uh, other than limiting you on the on the height, that you can pretty much fly wherever you want to. I'm sure that was kind of a major appeal, right? Being able to just weave in and out between all these buildings. Okay, looks like my parking spot is over here. Yeah, I know everybody, even in the future, everybody's after that uh, software as a service money. <laughs> okay. So it looks like I need to go this way and around the block. Safeguard. I guess I'm supposed to talk to the clerk. You the delivery driver? Yes, I'm from Cloudpunk. Cloudpunk? All right, here's the package. Don't open it, don't ask me about it, and don't be late. And before you ask, yes, it's supposed to smell like that. <laughs> okay, thanks. Is this real meat? What did I just say? <laughs> don't ask questions. Come in, 14FC. How are you handling the Hava so far? Hello, this is 14FC. Yes, everything is totally fine. Punch Relax, card. kid, you'll get the hang of it. What's giving you the most trouble? The traffic? Yeah, and how fast everyone drives. They all know exactly where they're going. You'll be that fast once you get your bearings. Faster, even. Just remember, the highways channel an induction loop through your Hava. Right. It's pretty simple. When you're on the highways, it's like the road is moving under you. You'll get a big speed boost. Use the highways to get as close to your destination as you can, and then cut off when you're close. I can only park in the bays, right? That's right. Havas aren't meant to touch the ground. The repulsors on the parking bays keep the undercarriage a few centimeters off the ground. It's not just a technical restriction. Corpsec defines the parking around the city to maximize traffic flow. I guess that's a good thing for us. And them too. Uh, 
traffic jams seize up the wheels of commerce. If Corpsec have one priority, it's making sure business continues as usual. Little China. You know, it's, I find it interesting how much thought they've actually put into driving around the city. You know, it's like you see you see these futuristic movies with cars in the sky, and it always looks so chaotic, right? And you think, how would it like really work? You know, and it, I feel like they've actually tried to put a lot of thought into that as to how flying cars could actually get along with one another without just having like crashes and explosions and all kinds of stuff, which I, I, I say that as I'm crashing into cars. <laughs> All right, let me stay low. Maybe that'll keep me away from everybody. Oh, I think I need to get off grid here. Ah, discovered Upper Midtown. And here's some parking, actually. Oh, I like it. It's like grungy parking here. I've been parking in all those, like, futuristic-looking parking bays, and here it's like you got, like, water. You know, and I almost think, I almost wonder if some of this is supposed to be, like, oil. Go rubbernecking at everything. And what was interesting, I I, uh, I picked up this punch card, and I have no idea what it is. I just randomly, it was like randomly on the ground when I was leaving that other place. So I don't know if uh, that's gonna come into handy or not. Mario Exports headquarters. Hollow cash. Well, I don't have one of these. <laughs> no hollow cash for you. <laughs> this is pretty cool, though. I, uh... And I like how there's people everywhere. Like, you know, it, it, they've really tried to make this kind of look like a city. Um, definitely got a very open world feel to it. Ava Systems Headquarters. All right, looks like this is where I need to go. Hello, Mr. Butler. I have your delivery. Give it here. It says I'm to deliver to Mr. De Beer. That's my employer. Give it to me this instant. Hey, street rat, has this been tampered with? What? No. Good. Most drivers ask what's in the package. Hmm. The smell makes them curious. What's in the package? <laughs> Meat. From which animal? What a strange question. Good day. <laughs> what a strange question, asking what kind of meat you're eating. Yes. <laughs> now look at this, again. Again with finding the random punch card. Now I got two of them. You know, I, so I'm starting to think these are like a collectible thing, right? I, I'm wondering if that's what it is. Clear. At your service. Maybe when you find so many of these, something happens? 14FC, are you back in Midtown yet? Look, kid, we messed up. We need you to get through a CorpSec security checkpoint. Now, you've never been scanned by CorpSec. We just paid to wipe your record, so... 
We need them to hold a clean file on you. They won't recognize me? <laughs> Not unless you've broken any other laws. Sending you a nav point now. Uh, one more thing, kid. You need to go through on foot. So don't look suspicious. Or act suspicious. <laughs> and don't mention Cloudpunk. Or me. <laughs> Shh! <laughs> I'm not working for anybody, Shady. Not in the least. <laughs> I'm simply a law-abiding citizen minding his own business. Her business. So it says I need to go through on foot, but I'm not I'm still not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I guess so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to park over here. This looks like the nearest parking spot. And then maybe I'll just go wander through the gate, I guess. Oh, okay, so it's this glowy thing here, a little scanner. Like I'm going through uh airport security. see either your citizen license or your voluntary contribution. I wish you people would just call them bribes. <laughs> voluntary <laughs> contribution. Nothing, officer. <laughs> Here's my details. Okay. I just have to create a new record for you and then... Hold, please. I'm getting a message in my earpiece. Yes, Agent Rio. No, sir. Her name is Rania. Cloudpunk? I don't think so, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I'll ask her. Yes, sir. I'll tell you if I think she's lying. <laughs> are you now, or have you at any time been a part of the illicit delivery service known as Why Cloudpunk? No. Never heard of them. Hold, please. Yes, sir. She says she's never heard of them. I believe her, sir. Okay, sir, I'll let her through. And I'll... She can hear me. Hmm? Hmm? Yes. Yep. Okay, then. I'll do that. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Okay, miss, you can go. Your details have been updated. When I scanned your ID, our server said you're a musician from the Eastern Peninsula. Wanna play us some music? Maybe another time. Alright. Live Corp. All right, well, I guess since I passed the... Oh, dude, check out the little droid. <laughs> D-I-R, Air 107. <laughs> I love it. All right, so I need to figure out where did I park? Right over here. You know, I had to have that moment where I could see if I, you know, could fall to my death or not. Your automata custom personality is ready for instantiation. Would you like to activate Camus now? Yes, please. <laughs> Loading noises. <laughs> Camus, are you there? It's you. I missed you. How are you? Doggy. Happy. What am I? Feels strange. You've been loaded into my vehicle's automata slot. Oh. Sorry, Camus. This is all I can afford right now. I was a bad dog? No, you were the best, oh. Camus. I am just a hova now. Right in the fields. Not as good. I know, I know. We'll get you a new body, I promise. It will just take a while. I have a new job. You don't play music anymore? I like music. Me too, Camus, but we need money. We lost the house. I had to move us to Novalis. Oh no, we hate the city. We did. Maybe it's not so bad now. I'm doing deliveries. We are doing deliveries. I am helping. Yeah, we're a team, right? I will help. I feel not so good though. I am sleepy now. It's the automata slot in the Hova car. It's pretty limited. And the hardware runs at a lower clock cycle, so you might need to take it easy for a while. Don't understand. Your higher operating functions are multi-threaded, but that's not supported with the hardware we have. 
Uh... That means it might take you a bit longer to figure things out. But you'll get there. I'm sleepy. Okay, rest for now, Camus. I'll bring you online soon. And Camus, I missed you too. We need you to... Damn it. Sorry. We need you to pick up a package from Kimbria Heights. It's a residential zone. I'm sending a nav point now. Okay, on my way. Wait. 14 FC? Is there a problem? No, never mind. Good luck. Everything's just peachy keen. I love how there, I love how there's this guy that says dealer and he's got a pill icon. <laughs> I guess we know what he's all about. So how do I get to where I'm going here? Keep waiting for one of these to go bad. It's like you, you know, they keep they keep trying to instill you with this feeling like things are going to go south at any point. Control, I'm at the destination and no one is here. Control, Camus, are you awake? Yes, I am awake. Excited. Want to help? Can you scan the area? Local scan. Look for ID chips on possible delivery containers. I don't know how. Wait, I know how. I think. What is box? A box is a square cube. No. What is that box? It's right there. Okay, I see it. I guess that's the package then. Why is no one here? I have bad feelings. Me too, Camus. What noise, Camus? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Oh no! From the package. I hear it too. I still have bad feelings. One second, Camus. Control, come in. Control, this is driver 14 FC. Come in, this is important. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Please deliver your current package with urgency. Control, why is this package ticking? I don't think you should have to do this. Control, what's happening there? Uh, nothing. I've been informed that you're to stop calling us about the package. Deliver uh, it quickly. That is all. Please, no more communication until delivery. Camus, I don't know what to do. I am nervous. Why? I am nervous because you are nervous. <laughs> Maybe we can throw away the TikTok. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Maybe I could dump it at the trash chute in Section 8B. That sends it into the refuse collection at the base of the city. Nothing ever comes back from there. Will Mr. Control be mad? Yes, but I get a bad feeling too, Camus. I think it will be bad either way. I want to help, but don't know what to do. I know, Camus, I know. I just have to make a call on this one. So... See, I think, I think that, well, I don't know for sure what's going on, but 
I'm thinking this is a test, right? I'm thinking there's no bomb. I think they're just messing with me because they want to make sure that uh, you're going to actually deliver your stuff, right? Which is probably why most people don't last the night is because they probably get they probably get spooked and don't pass the test. So we're going to see we're going to see what happens here. I'm going to actually do what I'm supposed to do. And uh, all right, where's my parking? I'm like right on top of the parking, but I don't see it. Or maybe it's up. Ah, things in my way. Here we go. Ah, that parking spot's taken. It's like, I'm gonna die because I can't find a stupid parking spot. <laughs> I guess it was nothing. We did our job, Camus. We shouldn't ask so many questions. I am not sure. You want to say something? If it is okay? Sure. Is this a job good? It pays good. Are we doing good things? No more questions, please, Kenneth. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure we're not doing good things, but I don't actually know. <laughs> it's sort of the point. Of course, you know, in all fairness, your average UPS driver doesn't also know... They don't know what they're delivering either. <laughs> It's a box, and a name, and an address. Driver 14 FC, this is Control. Is there anything you want to tell me about that last job? No, nothing. All right, well, I'm just glad it went okay. For your next delivery, please proceed to the following nav point to collect a package at Life Corp Industries. You'll need to find a way up to the roof of the building. Our client didn't leave us an access code, but, um, well, you're a smart kid. You'll think of something. Control uh, out. You'll figure it out. You're crafty. It's like they're trying to figure out now if I can, uh, if I have skills <laughs> to uh, get into places I'm not supposed to get to. Now, of course, I'm really curious what would have happened if I'd have done the other thing and just dumped it. All right, so here's life court. And I have to find a way onto the top of the building. Let's see if I can bribe my way in. I'm here to collect. Sign here, please. You'll find the package on the roof through the hotel entry to your right. The access code is B965E. And don't talk to the package. Don't what? You'll see what I mean. It won't shut up. It's going to Avalon Heights. They're expecting you. Wow, they acted like that was going to be hard. I'm like, wow, I talked to a person. Driver 14 FC, this is control. Uh, just checking that you made that delivery. I'm on it. Checking up on me? No, we're just... Uh, what was that? I don't know, driver. The city AI acting up again? Relocating a district, maybe? No, oh, this felt like an explosion. Yeah, you're right, I'm... Getting reports over the wire right now. It, it was an explosion. Control? Was it at the Metro Hub? No. Well, it was in that district, but it was in the bay. In the delivery bay? Yes. Control? Did I just... Unrelated. What? Your delivery was unrelated to the explosion. But I... Authorizing a bonus payment for Driver 14 FC. Transfer Damn. additional funds now. What the hell? Why am I being given more money? Control? Yeah. 
Um, driver 14 FC, we are not authorized to discuss previous jobs. Uh, that's in the rules. I thought they were guidelines, not rules. Please complete your outstanding contract at Life Corp Industries. Control out. Control? Control. Camus, are you on comm? What happened? I am nervous. That was a big boom. My windows got shaky. Did we do that? No, we didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Hmm. So I'm not actually clear on how I'm supposed to get to the roof, so I'm gonna see if I can just fly up there and then, like I was checking the door thinking I was supposed to put in the key code there, but I never, like nothing actually interacted with me, so I'm thinking maybe I'm just supposed to like go up. Here maybe, let's find out. So I can't just go straight to the roof, it seems like. Oh, wait, so it says the. Okay, hang on. There's clearly got to be a way to get up here, but it's definitely not by car. So let me, I'm going to go park my car again. I'm, I got to be missing something simple. I'm going to run back here, take another look. So the first thing, right, I tried to do is I tried to go in one of these doors and I, like none of these are interactable, right? Um, ah, balls. So, and I can't go in here. Yo, what is up, listeners? This your boy Rory Alpha giving you a shout out from Midtown, where I am with the people. Like this young lady here who is desperate to have her say on the Undernet's hottest loudcast. Could you get the microphone away from me? 
Oh, we have here another stuck-up young woman, too busy shopping and using makeup. I call it fake up because it is really lies to trick men. She doesn't even have time to talk to my listeners, the Bro Brothers. Your listeners are called the Bro Brothers? That's right. The Bro Brothers are my pack. Am I right? Ooh, ooh. And your show is about? Finally giving the bros a chance to speak out, to have their say. I don't think you want me on your show, and I sure don't want to be on it either. Now let's try to talk to someone better, bro brothers. We got to find the real voice of the people. We need a real man on this show. Am I right? How about that corpse sec officer? He seems to be looking at you. He seems like a real man. All right, bros, we're going to boost now. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit up that notification bell, and I, I got to go. This is what I missed. This is what I missed. Okay. Enter access code. All right, finally. B. 965E. Box won't stop talking. Oh, interesting. Except I don't have any coolant. I guess coolant's a thing I can get. Guess you don't have anything to say? I think I saw something on the ground here when I was flying over this. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it's another one of those punch cards. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain that those are collectibles, and if you get enough, I guess you get something for it. Alright, so... I guess the bar is closed. <laughs> Sadness. <laughs> Whoa. Something else. Memory chip. Ah, oh, and it's got a... Interesting, so it's it's got a price tag on it, so I'm guessing that means you can just sell it. It's almost like vendor loot. So it's like an arcade. <laughs> Little motorcycle game, I love it. I kind of love all these little details. Little mannequins and clothes shops. and They definitely really tried to kind of put all the details in here. I kind of wonder if like somebody was playing Minecraft and started building, uh, you know, a futuristic city and then this game just sort of came from that. Alright, so looks like we're heading to Avalon Heights. Hello! Can you hear me? I can hear you, Box. How are you today? Camus, we're not supposed to talk to the Box. <laughs> Don't talk to I the Box. I understand. Uh, are you an android too, Camus? Fine. You can answer him, Camus. I am an automata. I am a dog. Or a car. <laughs> I am dog a dog car. car. How strange. Hey, fella, you're a box. I am in a box. My name is William. What are you if you're not a box? It's my will in a box. I told you. I am <laughs> William. But what are you? I was a sous chef in Little China. But not anymore. I'm moving up in the world. In a way that makes me sad, too. How come? Because I won't be able to talk to little people like you anymore. 
It'll be a little shame. people. But it will all be worth it. Avalon Heights. I can't wait. What will you do up there? I don't know yet. It's exciting. Maybe I'll be working as a personal assistant to some pop star. Or maybe even a CEO. Perhaps I'll be an executive at one of those big corps. Hiring and firing. I would love to fire a human one day. Oh, <laughs> no offense, driver. None taken. What's it like being a driver? I love to hear about poor people. Now that I will be rich, I might even be an organizer for charity dinners. You won't be invited, of course, but I would talk about you. Thanks. And I've only been a driver for a little while. I was a musician. Perhaps I shall be a musician. Of course, I will be too rich and too busy to learn to play. But I might get some augments so that I can perform. Maybe the saxophone. Uh-huh. Rania lost her home and we were evicted, Box. I mean, William. We had to move to the city. William. Why? <laughs> Debt corpse. Oh, yes. They can be very unpleasant. I have heard. She had to sell my body for money, too. A circumstance with which I am familiar. I sold my body also. You see, a chef's android body is worth a lot these days. My body was the only part of me worth anything. Now I'm just a head and a dream. Can we open the box to see him? I want to see the head. No, we're not allowed to open the packages. <laughs> we're not supposed to speak to them either. I am sad. You'll get over it. Yes, doggy. Don't worry. One day you'll have a lovely body like mine. What will your new body be like? Oh, I'm sure it will be something good. I traded my old body, my apartment, and all my savings for this place in the Spire. Surely they have the best android frames there, too. Hey, nice to meet you, lady. What do you need? Pretty good. Thanks for this. Y'all come back, you hear? My vegetable sandwich. From a noodle place that did not offer noodles. Okay, I think I've done something wrong here because I thought that I thought that I was walking to where I could deliver the package, but it seems that I have picked a poor parking spot, so I'm going to have to wander back to my car now. Hanging my head in shame. Actually, now I'm trying to... How do I get back to my car? Okay, here we go. Jeez, I parked... I... I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I... I was having trouble finding a parking spot. So... I parked out here because it looked like it was the closest one. I gotta have missed something on the other side. What am I missing here? Right, cause see this ends, right? Like you go to the end of this platform. Oh wait, what is this? In 
interesting. So this is like a platform that takes you over here. Although that's the wrong way, but I'm but maybe that's maybe I'm supposed to find something similar. Yeah, it's really weird. This is like very not obvious where I'm supposed to go, right? Cuz I'm you can see my mini map bottom right and it's like somewhere around here, but then it gets kind of squirrely and there's like there's no place to park, right? I can't just randomly park on Where do I park? And the other thing is, is I can only go so high, right? So like, see, this is where my, this is where my height limit is. And I have no idea. So it looks like it's this building, I guess. So here's where, like, my floor is. It's kind of neat how you got clouds below you. I've actually never gone this far down before. Uh, right. I have got to figure out what I'm missing here. i got to be missing something simple. All right, let's keep looking around. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm missing something Z-axis related. I, I definitely get that. Now this is, okay, so here comes this platform. I'm going to try riding this platform. And I'm going to see where this takes me. So maybe this will take me somewhere I need to go. And I see some other platforms, so that may be... Yeah, see, I think... So this is where I got stuck earlier, right? Because there's no... This is... So, yeah, here's here was the noodle place where I got the vegetable sandwich. And there's no way over here. But I see... I do see in the background... There's def... I see some other ledges, so... I guess I'm supposed to go over there... Oh man, I wish I could jump in this game so bad. All right. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna head over back to my car again, and I'm gonna see there's got to be somewhere else to park. So I see a parking spot off this way, so maybe there's something going on over here. Now I know they talked about how like you could get to higher points by using the roads, right? Like almost like they, they were kind of, I remember they were talking about that almost like kind of a I guess sky elevator for lack of a better word. So that that may be the other thing is there may be like a higher section of the city 
that I'm supposed to get to. Um, but notice, like, there's ledges above me, right? And I'm wondering if that may have something to do with it. Oh, well, no, because it looks like that's a train track. Hi, what am I missing? something on the ground that I missed. Uh, hey, Driver 14 FC, you can't be bumping that hava around the city like that. You're gonna have to hit a repair station. If the damage gets worse, I can't get you out of the standard Cloudpunk hava damage penalty fine. fix my stuff. Well, you know, if I could just find where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. Okay, lifts. It's it's got to have something to do with that. Okay. All right, hang on. So, we're going to head If I'm if I'm looking at this correctly, yeah, so there's a parking lot up ahead, right? It looks like it's right over here. Let me see if I can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, where is that parking spot hiding? Oh my gosh, I, I can't... <laughs> it's a real challenge finding stuff. All right. Oh boy, my car is not doing well. <laughs> and sadly, I have no idea where... I'm sure if I look on here and zoom out far enough, I can find a repair place. All right, so I'm back to the mystery. Okay, so lifts. So it looks like if I go... It wants me to... And see, this is weird. I guess I'm supposed to ride this thing over. And then there's a lift on the other side. Except the elevator's not coming. I think it's coming. It's very slowly coming. I'm going the complete... I am, like, utterly going the wrong way here. Hi. Okay. I see another lift, so I'm going to go investigate what this other lift is. What was that other lift I saw? Over there, I guess, but now I'm like way over here. Ah, oh, man, I'm so confused.
I'm apparently going to be a terrible delivery person because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> so it looks like I think that there's another lift this way. So hang on. Let me let me see what's going on over here. Uh, and there's my 60 minutes. I've used up my 60 minutes wandering around looking... <laughs> eating vegetable sandwiches and looking for... So where does this go? I spent my 60 minutes eating vegetable sandwiches and wandering around. sad part is I don't I don't think I'm actually getting any closer I'm just sort of wandering around so now I'm over here and I see a little shopping cart but yeah it, it's so strange this is like its own little independent area on the map right and then here's where I'm trying to get to up here and uh Yeah, maybe it's this tunnel or something. But anyway, I suppose uh, I will just have to leave that mystery for another day because my 60 minutes is up. So, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. Or maybe I won't save my game because there's no save. I hope it, I hope it has an autosave. I guess we'll find out. All right. So let's talk about Cloud Punk. Um. You know, it started really fun. I love, uh, I love the exploration. Honestly, I could keep myself pretty entertained with that. I think for a long time, it feels like I, I made this comment earlier in the stream. It feels like I, f I feel like somebody was playing Minecraft, started making a futuristic city, and then decided, "Hey, I can make a game out of this." Right? Uh, you know, that's that's what this feels like. It feels kind of like somebody got inspired by Minecraft and then turned it into a game. And it's it's. It's not a bad game. I think, um, like I said, I think my only complaint was right there at the end. It's like it's a little challenging getting around, and I'm sure that was deliberate. Like, I feel like that was probably intentional, right? Because you're in a city, and I suppose it's supposed to be a little confusing. But I also kind of laugh, right, because I'm trying to imagine this, like, futuristic city where they, they're dealing with all kinds of... Um, traffic issues and challenges and the game even talks about it right like it talks about how oh yeah you know we we have all these rules and you know you have to follow these grids and do all these things right and they try to be very realistic about how you would get around in a city and then you try to get somewhere and it's like i'm wandering around lost so I, you know i can't necessarily blame all that on the game i'm sure some of that is stupid user but um that was if i had a complaint about the game I guess that would be it, right? Just the, uh, you know, I wish I I wish that it was a little easier to get around. And maybe it gets, you know, maybe you do a few of these things and it gets a little bit easier as you go, right? Um, the narrative seemed interesting. I'm not really sure where it's going. And the other thing is, is I don't know if... Uh, my other observation is it didn't seem like there was a whole lot of... Uh, the gameplay is running around and talking to people. And so I, I think that, and it's not necessarily a bad thing, but like, I think that that's, I think for some people that might be a turnoff. I, I feel like this is definitely more of a narrative game. It, but, but I think the only, I think the reason maybe some people might be disappointed is because it plays like an open world game. And so it's, it it's so cool and kind of inviting that like, you want to go into these buildings. You want to go into the bar. You want to talk to people. And to an extent, it lets you do that, but only to an extent. Um, you know, so 
uh, and and again, I don't I don't knock it against the game, but I would understand why people wouldn't like it that aspect of it because you just you really it, it kind of leaves you wanting more. Like you really you really just want to go crazy in this city and check things out, right? You know, I want to go to a noodle shop and have a menu of all kinds of things, not a vegetable sandwich and a protein shake, right? Like it, it's like it's a little it's a little shallow in places where I think they could have gone with more depth, you know, but there's still something there, right? It's not so shallow that there's nothing, right? But, you know, I just, that that's kind of what I noticed in my hour of playthrough is I just see these little things where like, huh, I'm really kind of curious about this and, or I wish that there was a little bit more to it, but, it, you know, but all in all, it was still, it was still fun. I think, um, I, I, what I really think long term of this game, I think it's going to depend on if I'm still having trouble getting around. Right. Like, I think, you know, if if I'm having to spend 10 hours of this game head scratching where I'm supposed to go and how I'm supposed to get there, it's going to get a lot less fun for me. But like if this was just I'm new and need to figure things out and it gets easier to get around, then I will probably end up um, enjoying enjoying this game a lot more. Um but I would say overall, though, for my verdict, um, I'm I'm still going to give this one a thumbs up. Um, the smiley, the smiley verdict. I think it was definitely a good game. Definitely something I could recommend. Um, you know, and I think the only thing that would change my verdict is if I played this farther in and it and it, you know, and I continue to have a lot of frustrations getting around. But I think other than that, everything was pretty solid. It's a beautiful game, um, and uh, it was it was it was pretty fun. So. Um, so yeah, so that's, that is, uh, that is cloud punk. Um, so for my next stream, so normally this is where I do, uh, the randomizer and I pick a random game, except this episode, I kind of inserted cloud punk in the middle. So, uh, for my next episode, a regular episode on Monday, I'm going to go back to my original plan, which is to play bear with me. Um, so this is a, uh, kind of a detective noir game, adventure game, and it's got, it's starring bears. So that, uh, I think that'll definitely be interesting. Um, so, uh, but yeah, I may, uh, I may update my Twitter page with some further thoughts on cloud punk. I'll probably play this one a little bit more. And, uh, if I have any different thoughts on it, I'll definitely update. Um, but just a reminder, you can always follow me on Twi Twitch and that is, you know, turn your notifications on. That's the best way to uh, be informed when I stream. Uh, but my normal schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights at nine o'clock central time. And then sometimes over the weekends I do bonus streams, uh, but I don't have any uh, set times on that. So, uh, yeah, so just give me a follow on Twitch if you want, and that'll be the best way to get notifications. So um, thanks for joining and I will see you all the next time.